Hi, this is James of Solutions PT Tech Support. Today I'm just going to be covering the backing up and restoring of OI server config to file. You can save the OI server config to a file which you can then move to a safe place for restoring after an, uh, any kind of incident, disaster, or you can even copy the configuration file from machine A to machine B and restore it elsewhere if you want to duplicate that uh, configuration or just make a minor amendment or something. So. Within the SMC, you can see all the OI servers I have installed here. I'm uh, focusing on the ABTCP on this occasion. So I'm going to right click on configuration, but you'll notice my options are ghosted out. That's normal, uh, although it could trip you up if you aren't aware of it. So you just left click first to highlight it. Then once you right click, that is enabled. We're going to save the configuration. So that is archive configuration set is the setting we're after there. So that's the option line one I'm going to call that and archive and that makes the file but it doesn't tell you where the file is stored uh, so that's the tricky bit so that is actually here it's in program data which is a hidden folder on the root of C and you can browse down through to this path let's create the file line one there so if we go here uh, program data, Wonderware OI server, and then the operations, integration, supervisory servers. You can see all the different OI servers that we've got installed here. So if I drill down into our particular one, on this occasion, there's line one. So that's our file. I can put that somewhere safe, back that up someplace. Now, I've also got a line two, which I've pre-prepared, which is sat on my desktop. So if I paste that into here, and then go back to configuration, right click. I can use another configuration set and that's picked up that I've just pasted in line two into that same directory where I just created line one. So you can, it'll find another file because it's in that location. So you can restore by reversing the steps of backing up. You place the file into the location and then you go to use another configuration file. And that's how you can back up to file, move the file elsewhere or restore to file by just reversing those steps. And that's the same for all the OI servers. It doesn't matter which one we picked. It's just a different location in this here. You can drill down the relevant one depending upon what you've got installed. If you've got a legacy DA server, it's the same process, exactly the same, just the path is different. So you want to go to program data again, but it's then one where DA server and then again, whatever is installed on the, and for your particular system. That's it.